This week on Extreme Outer Limits, Bob and I are hunting in Western Oregon right here in our backyard. We're on a coastal spring black bear hunt. I'm on the gun, Bob's on the camera, and there's going to be no shortage of action. Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. This year we were hunting with Rob of DC Outfitters. I had not had the opportunity to hunt with Rob in the past. However, Bob went on a hunt last year with Jake at the Sportsman's Channel along with Rob. Rob does a great job. He does his homework. All these areas are public ground, so anybody can hunt in there. He, he does his homework as far as trying to find out where these bears are. Uh, it's a great time to get outdoors. The spring is the perfect time in Oregon when everything is green and the flowers are blooming. We just really enjoy this hunt. It's a great time for both of us. Rob was out putting some glass on some, some hillsides and uh, scouting us up a bear. It sounds like they they spotted a nice bear about an hour ago. So we're gonna try to see where they're at, meet up with them, and um, maybe get a good look at this bear. And, and if not, maybe we'll just uh, keep looking and see what else is out there. That's where you saw him earlier? Yeah, right down there in the very bottom. The ravine is where he's at last. Okay. Pretty good there, huh? I, mean, I think he's he's an okay bear. But I don't think that's the one we saw earlier. Um, and this is the first day. I don't think we could take it. Not yet. Not yet. But I don't think. I think there's better in here. I'm sure there's probably at least a couple more in here. Well, it's exciting to see bears already. Yeah. That quick. <laughs> yeah. We've been here, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah. So that's a good start. We'll see more. Well, we've managed to not be able to pull away from this spot. This bear that has kind of got us hooked. Yeah, he's, he's uh, almost got talked into it. You guys saw a bear earlier today before we got here, but you're pretty convinced that this is not him. It's another bear, most likely. Yeah. So, so this other one might still be in here. Yeah, and we're pretty sure he's bigger. This guy's been giving us a show, though. <laughs> He's been just staying in the same area. We've got a ton of footage of him, but uh, he's almost trying to convince us that he uh, is worthy. Uh, it's getting close to, it's about 7.15. Yeah, the next half hour should be, half hour, 45 minutes, gonna definitely be the best, so hopefully that one we saw will come back out. This one's grandfather. Yeah, yeah. That would be good. That would be good, okay.
This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the all-new Night Force MOA 1000 Rifle Scope, the newest and most affordable long-range rifle scope on the market today. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. Bear hunting right here in our backyard is one of my favorite times of the year. Uh, we have the ability to actually hunt locally here. We can work in between our home and our office and uh, the mountains, and we don't have to travel too far. We're not, we're not locked into a, a time frame. We actually have two solid months to hunt these coastal black bear. And uh, this year was no exception. We, we got out here and, and got going. Um, you know, the first season of Extreme Outer Limits, I was actually able to take the longest uh, shot from a woman on film at 1,025 yards. That was exciting, but every single year that we get to do this, it becomes just as exciting as that was. <laughs> We've been covering a lot of ground today. It's uh, just kind of been glass and hillsides and it's late afternoon now. We're going to get out of our trucks and um, go on foot for a little bit. You have some ideas of... Yeah, we've, we've looked at a lot of area. Mm -hmm. um, now it's getting late in the evening, it should start getting better. So we can walk out some of these old roads or we can look into some clear cuts and, and stay up high and uh, try to spot something down in there and, and get close enough for a shot. Sounds good to me. I actually uh, made my way into this canyon. I'm by myself at this point. Robbie went to a different area and then his buddy Danny is also watching another area. It's, it's later in the evening. The wind is definitely picked up, but we're sitting on these canyons, looking down these draws at the bottoms where these bears typically live <laughs> and uh, just waiting for something to, to move down there. And, and if, if somebody else sees one, they're gonna basically just come let us know and we're gonna head that direction. But I'm pretty confident in this hole I'm looking at here. Just wish this wind would calm down a little bit. I knew this spot would produce a bear eventually. I just happened to glance down and this bear just came right out of the timber. Came all the way out. I, don't, I thought maybe he was going for water, but I don't know, it's possible he's a, a cub. He's real small. Maybe mama's bellowing for him or something because he definitely hightailed it right back up to that tree line for no real reason, no real apparent reason. So we're sitting here having fun watching him getting some film of him and uh, like I said I knew there's gonna be bears down here so just keep waiting
still in my spot. I'm sticking it out. Spotted yet another bear. Still not a shooter. This is uh, definitely proving to be a, a great spot. And the magic hour, I suppose. About 10 minutes of camera light left, which is a little disappointing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out and, and tell camera light and just see if Muy Grande <laughs> comes out of that tree line. I, uh, if not, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by Night Force Optics, Precision Optics for Precision Shooting, Macmillan USA, Shoot to Win, Burger Bullets, Shoot Better, Shoot Burger, and HSM Extended Range VLD Hunting Ammunition. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by The Extreme Store, your long range outfitter, Kershaw Knives, your premier Northwest knife line, King's Camo, any tag, any time, and Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world. Another gorgeous evening hunt difference tonight is we definitely have a very calm evening no wind had some warm days which these bears typically are just laying down from what we're learning um, I'm excited and hopeful tonight this area that we are in we've seen some bears in it just haven't quite gotten a shot off on anything nothing big enough that we wanted to shoot so hopeful tonight tonight's the night I'm ready to go like uh, walking down this ridge was a good idea. I've actually spotted a nice bear. He's on a tree line right now. Good sized bear. I think he's a shooter. He uh, disappeared behind some brush. I'm just trying to locate him right now and uh, looks like game on. Eight and a quarter. There's no end. Last time I left off, I was getting set up on a bear we had spotted on a timberline just before dark. He disappeared into some brush and we were having some trouble getting some glass on him. So we waited him out and by the time he came out, we decided that as many bears that I had passed on um, with all the glass that we'd done and all the ground we'd covered, I just wasn't willing to take this bear. He wasn't um, exactly what I was looking for. So passed on him. This is the final day of my hunt. Uh, pressure's on, we're throwing all the cards on the table, we've moved to a different area, um, we're gonna give it our best shot and uh, go big or go home. <laughs>
five and a quarter minutes up. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, hosted by Bob Beck, an information-packed two-day class where students will learn how to hit a 2,000-yard target using supplied EOL shooting systems. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. All cameras and accessories are provided by CampbellCameras.com. Relive your adventure. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was a great ending to a very tough hunt. This is seriously the last light of my hunt. And Bob spotted this bear and I couldn't even believe that we actually were gonna get one. I sent a bullet out there and thunk, bear down. I believe it's an awesome bear compared to what we've been seeing. Um, I can't even wait to see it because of the lighting. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. We're not going down there and when it's gonna be dark. So best thing to do is leave it overnight and uh, we'll go in first thing in the morning and go recover it. One of the crazy things when you're filming a hunt is when you have the possibility of running out of camera light. It happens uh, about 15 minutes before you actually lose shooting light. So your, your window of time to actually get something done is much shorter. Um, this hunt was no different. It was last light and we were really counting down the minutes that we had on the cameras to where the footage just started getting too grainy and taking that shot and, and getting that bear was so exciting for me but then all the excitement kind of tones down when everybody says we can't go in after it tonight. Obviously nobody wants to go down some you know 1800 yards of a canyon into the bottom of a creek bed uh, in the dark, and uh, especially after a bear. Getting up in the morning and getting ready to go was exciting. I couldn't wait to get out there. And just getting to the point where I shot it last night, I, I remember looking at Bob and going, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, because I was I'm, all my excitement just kind of came right back to that moment that I'd had the night before when I actually took the bear. So it, uh, it's a bittersweet moment when you actually put your hands on that bear. Oh my goodness. Woo! That is a bear. That is definitely the biggest bear I've ever killed. Well, here's the reward for all this hard work, guys. <laughs> the one joys of, uh, if you've ever been on an Oregon bear hunt, they find the worst places to drag themselves to. He basically came all the way through this brush, probably on his belly, <laughs> from the end of the edge of the unit up there. We have worked hard on this hunt. This is a beautiful bear. Look at his coat. Rob, DC Outfitters, thanks so much for coming on along with us. This has been an incredible hunt. And Bob, <laughs> we worked hard. We were we we hunted 11 solid days for these bears and. The weather in Oregon this year has been so different. And it's been warm and sunny, and we just finally got a little bit of weather. And last night, this bear just decided to come out on the hill. It was a blessing in disguise. We've been working several spots where we'll split up and, and glass. And I uh, guess we got the right spot last night. <laughs> Well-earned bear. <laughs> Well-earned bear. I'd like to again thank Robbie of DC Outfitters. If it's a spring coastal black bear hunt that you're looking for, go to our website at extremeoutermittstv.com. Click on the Outfitters link. There's all the information there to get a hold of Robbie. 
book yourself one of these hunts. This has been an exciting hunt. We, we drug it out to the last, <laughs> last minute. We put a lot of miles on our feet and... Uh, well, one of the benefits of us being right here together is we can go a lot. You were really patient, <laughs> both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was tough to keep passing on them, but let me tell you, when you've only, you know, had a couple opportunities to get out here and do this bear hunting, you want to make it count. So, uh, tell you what, it was awesome. Congrats. Thanks so much. I'm so excited that it has this type of an ending. Yes. And uh, here I am behind my spring black bear. We'll see you next week. Extreme Outer Limits was also brought to you by G7, built for the first shot. MGM targets, leave nothing to chance. Can attract boots, creative taxidermy, Eberly stock hunting packs, Hodgden powder, caribou gear, and Watlington outdoors, making dream hunts a reality.